but what I can say about the exams that I had specifically is that they were not easy. Our midterm average was just over 50% and the final exam average was just over 60%. And the midterm, well, let's just say it was quite a rough Bruh. one for me. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Avery and I've just finished my third year of electrical engineering at UBC. Of the nine courses that I took this year, one of these courses was Math 302. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything I wish I knew before I took this course and some survival tips to help you get through it. And just as a disclaimer here, everything mentioned in this video is based on my experience of taking Math 302 during term two of the 2024-2025 school year with Professor Jeffrey Scheibinger. And all of the information in this video is subject to change in the future, such as grading schemes, assignment and exam formatting, and course content. Lastly, timestamps will be in the description below if you want to reference certain parts of this video again in the future. All right, so what is Math 302 all about? In this course, you will get an introduction to probability, covering concepts such as sampling, conditional probability, random variables and their distributions, expectation and variance, confidence intervals, and joint probability distributions. As of the making of this video, Math 302 is currently offered in both semesters in the winter term and then the first semester of the summer term. Now that we know what the course is about, let's get into how Math 302 will be structured for any given week and the materials that you'll need for this course. Each week you will have three hours of lectures where the professor will go through concepts related to probability. Depending on who your professor is, they may either write their lecture notes on a chalkboard in real time or have lecture slides that they will go through with blank spots for example problems. I will say that Math 302 lectures go by very fast. So there's not much time to digest concepts during class and it will often feel like the professor is rushing during the lectures. At least that was my experience with my professor. In terms of assignments, you will have around 8 to 10 homework assignments throughout the term, each due on a weekly-ish basis with around 3 to 8 questions to complete per assignment. Depending on who your professor is, they may either be for completion or they could be for marks. And we'll get into that a little bit more in the grading schemes section of this video. And in terms of course materials, this will vary by the professor, but for my section, we followed the Introduction to Probability Textbook by Anderson, Seppelinen, and Valko. Now let's get into what you're actually going to learn in Math 302. And buckle up because there are a lot of topics that we need to get through. You'll start off with simple probability experiments to get you accustomed to terminology, sample spaces, and probabilities before moving on to conditional probability and independence. Expect a lot of examples involving dice rolls and also decks of cards as well. You'll then start to cover random variables, discussing the different types of random variables, their probability and cumulative distribution functions, and their expectation and variance. In doing so, you'll talk about the law of large numbers and also the central limit theorem, which allow you to approximate certain random variables in a certain way. Next, we cover the moment generating function, which takes a random variable and then transforms it into a function of a different random variable. And in the final stretch of the course, we cover joint distributions of random variables, sums of independent random variables, covariance and correlation between random variables, tail bounds and limit theorems, and conditional distributions. And let's just say that this was the part of the course that I did not understand at all and still don't to this day. In terms of the grading schemes and the exams for Math 302, here's the breakdown of everything that we were graded on and the weights associated with each item. For my section of Math 302, our homework assignments were weighted at 10%, our midterm exam was worth 40%, and our final exam was worth 50%. And I will make a disclaimer that this grading scheme will differ depending on your professor and when you take the course as the people who took Math 302 in the semester before me had two midterm exams and completion homework instead of what I had, which was one midterm and marked homework. For the exams, again, they will vary depending on the professor that you have, but generally speaking, they will have a number of questions with multiple parts to them. For our midterm exam, we had four problems, and for our final exam, we had eight problems each with varying difficulties and covering slightly different concepts in the course. 
but what I can say about the exams that I had specifically is that they were not easy. Our midterm average was just over 50% and the final exam average was just over 60%. And the midterm, well, let's just say it was quite a rough one for me. That was the lowest score of any test, quiz, or exam that I've ever taken ever. It really was a skill issue on my part because A, probability just doesn't click with me and B, I didn't study nearly as much as I should have. But luckily, thanks to my props shifting the grading scheme and then scaling the ever living shit out of the midterm and the final exam, I was able to end up with a mark that was only my second lowest grade of the year. All right, now into some survival tips, advice, and miscellaneous things to know before heading into Math 302. From what I've seen and experienced in Math 302, students generally fall into those that probability just kind of comes naturally and it's quite easy to understand for them, and those that need to work a little bit harder to understand what's going on. And from my midterm score, you can probably tell that I fell into the latter category. But as I will mention in just a bit, I was able to pull it together for the final and end up doing relatively well in the course. The biggest thing that helped me pass the course after getting seven and a half out of 40 on a midterm that was worth 40% of my grade was the MIT Intro to Probability and Statistics Open Course for a Course that is available online for free. In my class, aside from the homework assignments, one midterm practice problem set, some past final exams, and the textbook problems, there wasn't really much material explicitly given to us to help us practice the material in the course. Yes, you could comb through all of the textbook problems and pick which ones to do, but that was a lot of work and there's no solution manual for those problems. But the MIT course that I just mentioned had so many resources for me to use. There are lecture slides, problem sets for each of the topics, and most helpful for me, practice questions and practice exams that really helped me to prepare for the final exam. And all of what I just mentioned come with full solutions to check your answers. It was a super helpful resource for me and I highly recommend it for those who would like some more practice in this course. I will make two disclaimers though. First, the MIT course only covers about 85 to 90% of the concepts that you'll learn in Math 302, as it doesn't cover moment generating functions and some other concepts relating to joint or conditional distributions. And second, if you're just studying Math 302, you only need the resources from the first half of this MIT course, which covers the probability part of the course. The second half of the MIT course covers statistics and isn't really too relevant for the content in Math 302. And if you would like a more personal resource for getting through Math 302, I will say that AI tools are very good at solving most probability problems and can help break down certain concepts for you. Lastly, as for when you should take this course and which professor you should choose, unfortunately, it seems like they change each year, so your experience may vary drastically from mine. Just make sure to look up your professor on Ray My Prof and see what the reviews are, because most of the time, the reviews are very accurate. And for those of you who are curious, I scored a 73% in Math 302, and the class average was 74%. There must have been some crazy scaling done behind the scenes in order for me to have gone to this grade because if you remember from earlier, I got an 18.75% on my midterm and I didn't do too much better than the class average on the final exam. So uh, the scaling must have went absolutely crazy. And that's pretty much everything you need to know before going into Math 302. I really, really hope this video helps you guys out so you guys don't have to suffer as much as I did in my third year. As always, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to notify whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope this video brought you value, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.